Uh, this is BB. I just woke up. Uh, I thought of something. Um, before I got out of bed or I checked my messages, um, I was thinking the, 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 my constant dark passengers, and this is bigging them up, it's just making them feel special. I realized that. Was talking about, you know, it's like they wanted me to focus on the astral, the, um, the voices, psychic energy. Now, if you go to a .gov website, this is my take on this. These people are not psychics extraordinaire all of a sudden. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. People have been fooling with dem demonology for eons because they want to be more than just a human being. Gets to them boring after a while. And maybe we were meant for more. Maybe we were supposed to be evolved in a different way. But thanks to Adam and Eve, of course, we you know, have to experience the hardship of life, which is hardship on every level, basically. Which means the goodies that, we, that were intended for us to uncover within ourselves was taken from us, was buried. So maybe, I don't, maybe it's not called psychic energy, maybe it's just called a knowing. And the knowing is there not to hurt your neighbor, but to sense when something is wrong. Sounds science fiction, doesn't it? A sensing type thing. But this has always been one of mankind's dearest dreams to be connected without wires in this day and age to for us to be connected think of all the bad things that we can do to each other maybe that gift was taken from us or hidden from us but the pursuit for this gift to be present in us has always been a dream of most people they've been pursuing it most of their lives but that's not why I'm here the thing is, what I'm saying is, if you go to the .gov website, I'll make another video here, I don't think I can change it now, because this can also record the screen, is that they said it's a, the size of a rice grain, you put it somewhere, I don't know if you're on your neck, and this was told to me by an Uber driver, you put it on your neck, or you put it somewhere, and you can literally download your memories. It's a microchip. But what if it's not downloading, if it's always there, let's say somebody actually put it inside your, your skin, it's going to download your memories. It's going to download present time, downloading all the time. What I said a moment ago is downloading. Now, one of them has a habit of telling me two minutes, like two minutes behind. They're trying to catch up to me in real time to mimic me. They want to mimic me because I'm something special to them. Or it's just a goal they have. Because my 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 brain has always been going faster. I have since I was a child, I was always feeling like I was like light above me. Like right here, like light above me. This is why every time I would fall in love and it didn't work out, I felt like a light bulb went out. It felt like a light bulb went out because they, I was always a light child with, with lots of lights. Bright golden light. So I felt well, like a light bulb would go out. Because I would be filled with pain and suffering in a dark place. Pain is always in a dark place. There's no light there. So anyway. It's not a psychic extraordinaire. There's spiritual warfare, yes. There's spiritual warfare. The, the act of using this technology, if they've perfected it, they haven't perfected it, they're trying to uh, harness its, its uh, uses for evil purposes. Now, why would they want to mimic me? Because they want to put me at crime scenes. 
these people, obviously, they're doing this to me for so long. I'm not their first victim. They have had other victims. They might concurrently be having other victims right now. People that they're torturing. People that they're getting even with. Who hurt their grandma, their great-grandma, was born, whatever. I don't know what, what sets them off. Look at them the wrong way. Whatever. Because eventually it'll get that bad. You look at them the wrong way, you're toast. You got to remember where these people are coming from. Their mindset is just to hurt and to get even and to show feelings of power while enjoying the process of doing this. Because for them, it's a thrill ride. For them, this, right now I'm smelling gas, burning my nose. For them, for them, it's, just, it's a thrill ride. For them, this is uh, is enjoying the process, the, the 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 fun they're getting. I call it their funning. They're funning. I, for lack, of, I just want like to to make it say things that are so silly, like just to wake them the fuck up. Excuse my language. That's the wrong party I'm at. They've heard it all. They're desensitized to these things. They're just. Uh, Feelings of, uh, I don't know. They're learning how to speak. I don't know what's their deal. They want to be somebody. Where's the money coming from? There's lots of people without any cash who are dirt poor. They can speak well and nobody pays attention to them. Millions, if not billions of people speak well. Nobody pays attention to them. So they have to have a little cash accumulated. Somebody's paying. Let me tell you, nobody will sit down day after day to do this without some money circulating. A nine to five is not going to work it. It's not going to cut it here. No matter if you're making two, three thousand, hundred thousand dollars a year, it's not going to cut it here. Not for the amount of people involved in this. There's somebody with deep pockets, deep pockets behind this thing. Deep pockets. And for me, whoever sold my grandma's stamps, it has a chunk of change. And he's passing it around. I don't know who this man is. And I have some cousins. They're cutthroats. They're like Judas's. And that would include an aunt that I have without any mercy. She doesn't have mercy. And my cousin doesn't have any mercy. Because my, grand, my grandfather, who had possession of the stamps, it was his wife's stamps, which is mine, because they adopted my mom. Died in one of their houses. I don't think it was the stamps were two houses down or five houses down or the next town over. Hello? Where he died between my aunt, my two aunts, and my cousin, my two cousins. The the, 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 the the stranger ten blocks down no, is not him. It's not little elves coming in the house and stealing. No, somebody in, within those two households it or, is behind this whole thing. They're behind it. Or they know about it and they need to open their mouths and they're not doing it. They're waiting for their cut. So I got unlucky. It's okay. Not because God ordained it, or it's because human beings, greedy ass fucking human beings, breed on steroids. This is what money does to people who have no appreciation for it. To them, it's just a dollar. They don't care how they got it. They're just like monkeys parting money up. They have no appreciation, they have nothing. Like I was saying this morning, I feel like if I was a football and these people were playing toss or they were just throwing the ball, catching, catch, toss, whatever. And the football suddenly screamed, please stop, please stop, you're hurting me, please stop. Or they were kicking this ball, kick, you know, from one person to another, kicking. Just a, a 
bunch of people, it's in a circle, three or four people just kicking the ball to each other. And the ball started screaming, please stop, you're hurting me. They would stop. But a human being, no. No, no. That's the cue for them to continue to do more of what they were doing when the, when the person screams stop, because that hurts the most. That's my life with these, right now, with what, whoever they are. But check out the rice grain. Astral projection, psychic, is, is not that powerful. Where you, they can, they're trying to outrace you when you're thinking, no, 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 no. The rice grain, it's downloading. Now, where, where is it downloading to? Remember, this rice grain doesn't have, I, I, there's no wires here that I can see, that I can click. It's connected to a database somewhere, an electronic database, a computer. And they're connected, just like how I'm connected to the rice grain, they're connected to the rice grain through that computer. So they're, they're kind of like, like my thoughts going to all these people, and they're imitating me on some level. I, I don't know why. I believe that they've, they've messed with other people, and they're trying to incorporate me into it. To leave me in the lurch, like I was the one uh, uh, messing with their people, their kids. Because if 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 what they're getting is some kind of vibrational energy, that's you know when we're angry or emotionally overwrought or charged, it doesn't matter. Just not just regular, but emotional. You know, where 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 um, um, there's a lots of emotions, and we're somehow happy or somehow. Confident, it doesn't matter, an elevation of emotions or uh, uh, emotionally, um, uh, there's the, the emotions are here and we're reacting to it in certain ways. Because the emotions are really outside of us. You can feel the energy. Because some people will be happy at a wedding or cry at a wedding and be, feel nothing at somebody dying. Well, everybody else is crying. That's what I mean. It's like the energy is outside of us and we just connect to it. These are all frequencies. But some people are super sensitive to the frequencies around them, the energies around them. Some people are not. They're outside of us and we connect to them. So I don't have copyrights to empathy, sympathy. I don't have copyrights to these things, despite what these people may want to believe. I don't have copyrights to them. But anyway, um, that being said, now I'm going to go get a coffee. They're telling me my building has free coffee, by the way, free Starbucks coffee. Okay, we have free Starbucks coffee. Now I want to go get a coffee because my car, my my class starts in half an hour. And um, they're telling me, make your own coffee. The first thing that came to mind is that they put something in my creamer. And if something happens to me and that, there has to be an autopsy and they find it's a coffee or the creamer, they'll start questioning what happened to the rest. You know, if it's in the coffee system, then it's, it's everybody in this building that's getting fucked up. I'm just saying. They're completely controlling my life, basically. They're using my empathy for other people because I don't want them to hurt other people against me. These people are monsters. What do you think? But the rice grain theory, it's not psychic energy extraordinary. Look for a simpler explanation. The rice grain theory. The government is acknowledging that this technology exists. Think about it. 